Well, one of the largest chains of sporting goods stores in the country is suspending the sale of all guns from its stores closest to Newtown. Firearms have also been removed from display. Dick's Sporting Goods is doing it out of respect for the Sandy Hook victims and their families during this time of national mourning. A similar move affects the chain's 450 other stores nationally, including here in Asheville. News 13's Frank Crocker is streaming live from the Tunnel Road location. What is the impact here, Frank? Well, all of what Dix refers to as modern sporting rifles will not be sold for now. No timetable on this moratorium, but for most, it is business as usual. This is just the 22 round rifle yeah, instead of the 223, but the same configuration. I mean, it's just like this. It's a dead ringer for the Bushmaster AR-15, the gun behind the carnage in Connecticut. And on target, mom and pop firing range and gun store in Asheville, they can't keep them on the shelves, literally. Not one left. AR-15s, AKs, anything with a you know 20, 30 round or 100 round capacity. You know, everybody comes in, we're just so distraught. We didn't think about the, the onslaught of the people buying. There is an AR-15 available. This one is part of what's called the Great Gun Giveaway. It's a raffle to raise money for TPAC, the Asheville Tea Party affiliate. The fundraiser is drawing nationwide criticism. It was not timed after this tragedy, it was timed before. This event is out of touch with the grief that we're all feeling. The left in this country, the liberals, are trying to create a utopia. It doesn't work. I wouldn't enter the raffle, no, no. I, I wouldn't want to, and I'm, I'm not, I, I don't consider myself to be liberal, so. There are other economic factors at play here, for some, it's like betting on the price of gold. The gun I'm going to pay $1,000 for today, if they outlaw it, in a year it's going to be worth 2000 so I know one guy's purchased six or eight ARs in the last few days. He's like, I don't plan on shooting them, but I'm going to wait till they outlaw them, and then I'm going to sell them. And Dix will let some time pass, too, before selling them again. For them to do it, it's good socially to do that. It's good socially. Could we afford to do that, pull all the guns off? No. Well, the National Rifle Association issued a statement today saying, in part, out of the respect for families and a matter of common decency, we've given time for mourning and prayer, full consideration of what's going on with the investigation of the facts before commenting. And the NRA is saying that it will offer a major news conference, what it's calling a major news conference, and that's coming up this Friday. Reporting live in Asheville, Frank Crocker, News 13.